Hi everyone, Yases Que Carlos Tirzate to another episode of Dimitra's Dishes. Today we're going to be making a delicious vegetable stew known as sufiko, and it comes from the part of Greece known as Ikaria. Ikaria is known for longevity. People live very long over there, probably because they eat delicious, healthy meals like this. Let's get started. Okay, so we're going to start with the eggplants. Uh, try to get ones that are as fresh as you can find. These are not that fresh, but that's all that the supermarket had, so I'm just going to use these. And we start with the eggplant first because we have to cut them into cubes, and then um, we're going to have to salt them really well so all of the bitter juices are released. And you can cut most of the skin off if you want, peel it off. I'm just going to leave it on. And then you're going to layer them in a colander, uh, sprinkling salt between each layer. Again, the salt is going to help draw out all of those bitter juices. And we're going to leave this on the side for about 30 minutes. If you can leave the eggplant on the side for an hour, they're going to be even more tender and delicious. Then you can just uh, rinse them with cold water and pat them completely dry. So while the eggplant is draining and all the bitter juices are being released, you can prepare all of the rest of the veggies. So start off by cutting three onions, finely chop them and put them in a pot. I started off with a small pot and then I had to transfer everything to a bigger pot. So start off with a big pot. This does make a big batch and it's great because it keeps well in the fridge all week long. Add some olive oil. Traditionally, Greek uh, vegetarian dishes take a lot of olive oil. People in Greece put up to like three quarters of a cup in there. Start off with a quarter of a cup and you can go all the way up to a half a cup. Sprinkle some salt on those onions and cook them over medium heat until they're nice and soft and golden. In the meantime, prepare the rest of the ingredients. So I have four potatoes here. These are, use any potatoes you have on hand. First we're going to peel them. And then rinse them with cold water and cut them into rounds. If the potatoes are a little bit on the larger side, you can go ahead and cut them in half and then do half moons instead of rounds. So that way everything is roughly the same size. The recipe calls for two bell peppers, but I only have one, so that's what I'm gonna use. Two zucchini diced. And I have a handful of baby carrots that I'm just gonna finally just slice up like this into little rounds. One large carrot would be good enough. So the onions are ready. To the pan, I'm gonna add five garlic cloves that I've grated. And they're just gonna warm through for a few seconds until they're fragrant. Now I'm gonna add the eggplant. I've already rinsed it and I patted it dry. Should have used a bigger pan. <laughs> but these are gonna cook down, so it should be okay. You know what? I'm going to transfer these into a bigger pot really quickly. So now at this point you could add all of the veggies into the pot and start off with a bigger pot. When I tested this recipe, I tested it with a much smaller batch, so I don't know. My brain gets stuck sometimes when I'm recording. So I'm going to add a 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. If you have fresh tomatoes, you can add fresh tomatoes instead. Two or three fresh tomatoes will be enough and a little pinch of sugar to get rid of the acidity. Like a half teaspoon will do. You could leave it out also if you don't want any. We're gonna season with some salt. Chilies are also really common in this dish, so I have two serrano chilies that I'm gonna add. If you don't have chilies, you could do crushed red pepper flakes, about a half a teaspoon or a teaspoon of them will do. Don't forget to add some black pepper. If you want less heat, you could put the, the spicy pepper in towards the end. That, that's just gonna help it release its flavor and then not make the dish so spicy. And then you're gonna cover the pot and you're gonna cook this for 10 minutes over high heat. Go in and mix it every now and then so the veggies don't burn. This is gonna help them release all of their juices. Then go ahead and remove the lid and then cook this over medium heat for about 25 or 30 minutes. It's gonna be closer to 30 minutes or until the potatoes and all the veggies are fork tender. Then go ahead and give it a nice mix and you can add 
three or four tablespoons of balsamic dressing. We have some in our shop. It's delicious. It comes from Greece. If you don't have any balsamic dressing, you can just combine a little bit of balsamic vinegar with like a tablespoon of honey. The dressing is just going to add so much more flavor. Just go ahead and pour that over and also add a heaping teaspoon of dried oregano. Mix that all up and then go ahead and taste it and see if it needs a little bit of more salt, pepper, or anything else that you want in there. And then that's it. It's ready to serve. The vegetables are, they're going to melt in your mouth. They're so good. It's time for the taste test. And I, of course, like to serve this with some nice uh, feta cheese on top. I just crumble it right on top. Mmm. So good. So comforting. This really takes me back to my childhood. These vegetable stews were commonly made in my house, so anytime I eat it, it's really comfort food for me. I could eat this with a few slices of toasted bread and I'll be in heaven. This is delicious. I hope you guys give it a try. The exact measurements are on the website, DimitrisDishes.com. Visit our shop for olive oil, balsamic vinegar, and these cute aprons. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I'll see you all next time. Yes, us.